Harold Amos, born 1919, died 2003. African American microbiologist. Harold Amos, former chairman and professor emeritus of the microbiology department at the Harvard Med at the Harvard Medical School, has conducted extensive research in microbiology and bacteriology, primarily focused on hexose metabolism in mammalian cells. Amos is also involved with promoting the scholarship of underprivileged minority youth. Harold Amos was born on September 7, 1919 in Pensacan, New Jersey, and he grew up on a farm in that rural area. In 1941, he received his Bachelor of Science degree in biochemistry from Springfield College in Massachusetts. Drafted, he served in the Army for five years during World War II. After his discharge, he attended Harvard Medical School, earning his medical degree in 1947 and his doctorate in bacteriology and immunology in 1952. Under the guidance of J. Howard Mueller, the chairman of the Department of Bacteriology and Immunology of the Harvard Medical School, Harold Amos studied the effect of the treatment of purified herpes virus particles with phosphatase and protease enzymes. He aimed to identify a treatment that reduced the infectivity of the virus for the membrane of embryonated chick eggs. His dissertation was entitled Study of the Factors Contributing to the Loss of Infectivity of Herpes Simplex Virus. A Fulbright scholarship enabled Amos to pursue research at the Pasteur Institute in Paris from 1951 to 1952. From 1952 to 1954, he was a research fellow at Harvard Medical School. In 1957, Amos began his academic career as an associate professor of bacteriology at Harvard Medical School. He became a full professor in 1969 and then went on to become the chairman of the Department of Microbiology and Molecular Genetics. Since 1975, Amos has been a Maud and Lillian Presley Professor of Microbiology and Molecular Genetics Emeritus. The focus of Amos's research at the Pasteur Institute was the metabolic mutants of E. coli with much attention paid to amino acid metabolism. However, after several years, Amos began to pursue research concerning mammalian cell metabolism, particularly sugar metabolism. Amos's first study of sugar metabolism concerned the glucose metabolism of cancer cells in comparison to normal cells. Most cancer cells studied have a great demand for glucose and die rapidly when deprived of it. Initially, his research compared the transport systems of cancer and normal cells, but he did not find a significant difference between them. He then shifted his attention to the glucose transport system itself. Amos made various discoveries that revealed the rate of the transport of cancer cells and the relationship between glucose and its transport system. Amos found that when cells are deprived of glucose, the rate of transport may increase from 5 to 15 times as a function of sugar deprivation. Amos's, Amos's current research concentrates on the regulation of the GLUT1 transporter, of the GLUT1 transporter, one of the members of the glucose transport family. The GLUT1 transporter is found in all cells and is especially sensitive to the level of glucose and certain amino acids in the culture medium. His objective at the present is to identify the metabolite of glucose that is responsible for its repressive effect on GLUT1 transporters. Amos has shown, ha Amos has shown great devotion to programs that encourage minority students to pursue careers in medicine and biomedical research. He has worked with the Macy Jr. Foundation in New York since 1965 and has been a board member since 1975. He is also the program director of the National Program of Minority Faculty Development at the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation at Princeton University and is a committee member for the funding of young investigators 
in the biological and biomedical sciences. Amos won the National Academy of Sciences' highest honor, the Public Welfare Medal, in 1995 for his success in mentoring and providing funds for minority students pursuing biomedicine. Along with teaching and lecturing, Harold Amos currently oversees the laboratory for medical students at Harvard. Amos never married and lives in Boston. Citations and sources for this audio are in the description.